You're planning to start woodworking. What do you need? Where do you start? What tools do you need to buy? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to start your woodworking journey. Let's go. Twelve years ago, sitting in my dad's garage, cutting a piece of pine timber with a steel axle blade and screwing everything together with a screwdriver, I built my first coffee table. And that's why I started falling in love with woodworking, creating and building stuff. But at that stage, I didn't really know what tools to buy, where I need to start and just how about starting woodworking. So in this video, I'm going to give you seven fundamental tools and equipment you need to start your woodworking journey. Let's go. So there's a few fundamental tools a woodworker needs. And the first two woodworking equipment a woodworker permanently got on him at all times. The first item I want to suggest in getting is a good proper woodworking pencil. What do I mean by this is, over the last few years we have went through a ton of different types of woodworking pencils to get to a pencil that we absolutely enjoy and that's giving us accurate markings on all our pieces of wood. Now the pencil we've been using for the last few months is the pickup pencil. And the first reason why we like the pickup pencil is it comes with a protective housing to protect your pencil point at all times. Now you do get cartridges you can refill your pencil and how many times have you been looking for your sharpener to sharpen your pencil and that's the next reason why we like the pickup pencil it's got a built-in sharpener so when your point gets dull you just press it it comes out you press your pencil inside your sharpener and everything is together the next reason why we like this pencil it's got this little clip so you've got your pencil on you at all times. So when you need to do a marking, take it out of the housing, you do your marking and you, pre and you put it back into your housing and there you go. Everything is quick and fast and this is why we like the pickup pencil and it's working for us in our woodworking shop. So the next item on our list and the second item a woodworker permanently got on him at all times is a tape measure. I will strongly recommend in getting a good quality tape measure the first time. Now we invested in a quick draw 8 meter tape measure. Now you don't really need a 8 meter tape measure. You can go for 5 meter but maybe someday we're going to need that extra 2 or 3 meters and then we got it. And the reason why I like the quick draw tape measure is it's a solid tape measure. The last 2-3 weeks I dropped this thing about 5-6 to six times. And everything is still in place. It's working perfectly. And it feels solid. It doesn't feel too plasticky. It feels like a solid tape measure. And the next reason why I like the quick draw tape measure is it's got a built-in pencil. What does that mean? It means that once you set your size you want to measure, you lock your tape measure in place. And it's got this small little pencil and cartridge you can fill every time. And it's got this small little wheel at the bottom here. So you can transfer the exact same measurement on your workpiece at all times. So it basically works on this. If you want to transfer the exact same measurement on your workpiece, it's got the small little wheel at the bottom. And it's making this little mark here. Little mark there. So you have the exact same measurement right through your workpiece. And that's why I like the quick draw tape measure. Invest in a good tape measure. So the third item on our list is investing in equipment that's going to help you to work square and straight. What I mean by that is investing in tools like your speed squares. We have got a lot of these lying around in the shop just to help us to do accurate markings and to work square and straight at all times. Invest in a big square, smaller squares, We've got a few water levels. Um, we've got so many of these lying around in the shop. And the one tool I absolutely love and something that reminds me of when you go to your grandfather or your great grandfather, they will always take this piece of equipment off the shelf and it's just solid 
and that's the awkward squares and I absolutely love this because it comes in a protective housing and you can feel the product overall it's a solid steel so you have equipment to make square markings you have equipment to find different angles let me get this out here you have equipment to find different angles on your work pieces or if you want to mark say a 45 or a 42 or a 90 degree and then you have equipment to mark circles as well and just get this out here you have equipment to mark circles as well so the good set i will strongly recommend um it is pricey but this is definitely a long-term investment if you want to do super super accurate markings on your work pieces so now we're moving to power tools there's four power tools you need to start woodworking you will definitely need these tools in starting woodworking the first item i will recommend in getting is a, a proper cutoff machine and we've got the makita cutoff machine and you can convert this into a table saw so you have a two-in-one tool at the same time you need to invest in a good cutoff machine to cut your work pieces to size now the next item i will recommend in getting is an item once your wood has been cut to size you need to screw your wood together and recently we invested in the works cordless machine and there's a reason for this it comes in a little toolbox and i absolutely love this because your tool is protected at all times and i absolutely love what works is doing here they are not only catering for the DIYer or the mid-range woodworker they are also catering for the industrial woodworker for us that's got a woodworking shop we are using these machines and i absolutely love this machine it comes with a 20 volt lithium battery it comes with two batteries and it feels solid it, it's a solid machine it's super strong and it comes with a little kit you've got a tape measure you've got some drill bits you've got screws you've got wooden bits and it's also a nice investment for someone that's keeping this machine at home that wants to do picture frames or something quick and even women ladies can use that at home and the nice thing about these machines are they are mid-range machines so they are not super expensive but they are not the cheapest on the market and they've got this grip release on the on the chuck of the machine and what that means is for a lady for instance that wants to put a bit in here for instance it's not going to hurt her hand the machine is going to release once the bit has been fastened strong enough on the machine invest in a good proper cordless machine it's going to save you a ton of time don't even waste your time like i did 12 years ago screwing all my wood together with a screwdriver invest in a cordless machine we are using the works it's a mid-range machine and it's working for us in our industrial shop this is why we like works moving to the sixth item on our list and once we've cut and once we've cut all our wood to size and we screw them together we obviously need to sand our workpiece and the time to sand with our hands are over we invested in one of the world's best sanding machines we invested in the festool rotex sanding machine for a number of reasons the first reason is it saves us a ton of time on all our woodworking projects the next reason is it's got two different settings it's got the rotex setting where it's a super aggressive like a belt sander setting and then it's got your normal orbital sander setting where you can do your normal sanding and you do get different pads for this if you want to say for instance polish uh, woodworking top or a epoxy table so this is like a three-in-one machine and you will definitely need a good orbital sander to sand all your work pieces now this is a top of the range machine we are using this in a woodworking shop and if you want to invest long term in proper equipment invest in a rotex you are definitely not going to regret it and moving to the last item on our list and now that we've cut our wood to size we fasten it together and we sanded our wood piece we need to make sure that the edges of our work pieces are neat 
and it looks clean. So the next tool I will recommend in getting is a proper router. Now for your workpiece to have smooth edges, we are using the Makita router machine for a number of reasons. This is also a mid-range tool and we enjoy using the Makita router and the bits we are currently using are two different brands. The first brand is a Torcraft bit. This is a mid-range bit. So we like using this for all our small coffee tables. And if we have to build, say for instance, an oak table or a solid wood table, we like using the Torcraft bits. They come in a set and we absolutely love this. And when we get to a more industrial project where we have to build numerous of tables like six or seven or twelve tables at once we like to use the protect bits these bits are extremely strong they are not getting dull too fast and we overall like to use the rotec bits for more aggressive type of work and our overall finishes we like on our tables is just a small 45 chamfer corner right around all our tables and you will definitely need some router bits if you are going to invest in a router so these are my seven fundamental tools i will strongly recommend in you getting in starting your woodworking journey now if you learned something or you picked up something that you're going to use for your woodworking journey please leave me a comment down below I would like to interact with you, speak with you, see where you are with your woodworking journey, maybe give you some advice, ask me some questions. I am more than willing to speak to you on the comment section down below. And we've got some extremely good news on the way. As I'm standing here, we are busy developing the DIY with Greg website, where we will be launching drawings for all our previous projects we posted on YouTube and for all the projects to come. So make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. I will leave a link down in the description where we will obviously announce once our website is live, where you can find more information about us, what we do, where we come from, drawings, plans, information, data sheets, everything is going to be on there. We might be launching some merchandise in the far future, but that's the far future. For now, we're only going to focus on plans and drawings to help you with some woodworking projects. Now, if you enjoyed this video and it's your first time here, or if you are a subscriber already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video. It's honestly helping with the YouTube algorithm and it's going to help us to produce future content. I am going to leave a link down in the description where you can find all these tools if you are interested in buying them. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next week. Cheers.